okay when you are solving these summation problems like this the most important question that you need to ask yourself is what is rth term you put that rth term inside the sigma notation and let the index go from r is equal to 1 to n that is same as this problem written in sigma notation then we start applying properties of sigma notation so 2r square plus r 2r square plus r two can take two can be taken out and those two sigmas can be broken into two parts so sig two times sigma r is equal to 1 to n r square plus sigma r is equal to 1 to n r in last lecture we have found out the formula for this r square this is s2 of n which is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6 and this is n of n which is n into n plus 1 by 2 simplifying you get this answer question number 2 S is equal to one into n plus two into n minus one plus three into n minus two plus dot 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 up to n terms. Okay, get me the answer in properly factorized numerator divided by constant. Rh term is r into n plus one minus r. R goes from one to n. N plus one is constant which comes out of sigma notation. Sigma r goes from one to n r minus sigma r goes from one to n r square. So n plus one is a constant. Sigma r is n into n minus n into n plus one by two minus sigma r square n into n plus one into two n plus one by six. n into n plus 1 by 2 can be taken out common inside bracket n plus 1 minus side, 2 n side will be 2 n plus 1 upon 3. 3 yes is equal to n into n plus 1 inside bracket 3 n plus 3 minus 2 n minus 1 upon 3 which is equal to n into n plus 1 Into n plus two divided by six. I don't know why you are not able to do from here to here. If you are not able to do above this, that means you have forgotten properties of sigma notation, which we cannot afford to forget. Problem number three. Huh. S is equal to one Q upon plus one Q plus two Q upon two square plus one Q plus plus three Q upon three square plus dot dot dot. Up to n terms. Let me show. What is rth term? R plus one square upon two cube four. plus two cube plus dot 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 plus r cube divided by r square. This is our rth term. Yes. Yes, sir. yes, sir. We can directly write down numerator bit simplified form. R into R plus one upon two bracket square divided by R square. So this is more correct uh, rth term. R square gets cancelled. Therefore, you have. Uh, R plus one upon two whole square. This is your correct R term. 
and hence let us put sigma sigma equal to zero r goes from 1 to n i can take out 1 upon 4 out and r plus 1 bracket square is r square plus 2 r plus 1 which is equal to sir so ha uh, alela sir now we get a constant part so how can n be common how can n be common what is n This is one upon four, na here. Yes, sir. In the final answer. In the final answer, is this step wrong or correct? Sir, it is correct. 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 Sigma r goes from one to n r square plus two times sigma r goes from one to n r. Plus sigma r goes from one to n one, correct? And therefore, we have everything in control now. One upon four inside bracket n into n plus one into two n plus one upon six plus. Two into n into n plus one upon two plus n, which is equal to after simplification n in upon twenty four inside bracket two n square plus nine n plus thirteen. Problem number four. Sir. Yes. Sir, I have little bit different method. Ah, huh. sir, I have done it means I have one uh, p three is equal we know that p uh, s m is equal to one cube upon one square plus one cube plus two cube upon two square. Sir, 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 sir,
minus three times sigma r goes from one to n one, which is equal to sixteen times same story n into n plus one to n plus one. Arey sorry n. Idi twenty should come instead of n, n right? Yes yes you are right. Twenty. 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 Sixteen into twenty, twenty-one, forty-one upon six plus eight into twenty, twenty-one upon two minus three into twenty is equal to four seven five four zero. Very good. Now I think I should give you one more problem, and then we will in the next lecture we will see how can we solve problem number four by one more method and problem number five by one more method. We will see that in next lecture, not today. So the second problem I would like to give you is let me give it in green. B is equal to five into eight into eleven plus eight into eleven into forty plus eleven into forty into seventy plus dot 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 up to twenty. Terms. I don't know how big this numerical answer is, but get me numerical. I will keep my answer ready. Okay. Five eight eleven five plus r minus one into three t one, which is equal to three r plus two t two three r plus five t three three r plus Eight sigma three r plus two three r plus five three r eight r goes from one to twenty is equal to b is equal to ha this is going to be a long expression sigma r goes from one Twenty r cube in trigonometric sectors plus r square. I will get r square nine into eight. Now, now what a bhatter nine into eight. Now what a bhatter nine into two. Or maybe it is better to write nine into. Eight plus five plus two. R square plus. Correct. Then I am supposed to take three into eight point seven charis. Eight point seven. What is it? Ah. Plus eight. 
Correct? I think so. Let us check. Yes, sir. This is equal to 27 times sigma r is equal to 1 to 20 r cube plus 15 sigma r goes from 1 to 20 r square plus 15 16 sigma r goes from 1 to 20 r plus 80 times sigma r goes from 1 to 21. This is equal to 27 into 20 into 21 upon 2 bracket square plus 135 into 20 into 21 into 41 upon 6 correct plus 28 into 20 21 upon 2 plus 80 into 20 is equal to very simple 1621330 check whether you have understood 